Did you know that there are colossal capital cities built for millions of people that remain eerily empty? Or that the United States once poured a staggering $17 billion into a mega project that never saw the light of day and remains utterly useless? Today, we're embarking on a journey to explore five of the most mind-bogglingly useless mega projects in the world. Number 5. Interstate H3, Hawaii. Our adventure begins with a scenic wonder, the 26-kilometer-long Interstate H3 in the beautiful Aloha state of Hawaii. This picturesque highway takes you through one of the most breathtaking landscapes on Earth, where the lush greenery and stunning vistas could easily lead motorists to pause in awe, creating potential traffic hazards. Yet, the beauty of this highway is matched only by its controversy. The idea for Interstate H3 was first floated in 1960, driven by defense considerations, as it was envisioned to connect the Pearl Harbor Naval Base in the south to the Marine Corps Air Station on the east coast. However, its announcement was met with immediate resistance from environmental groups and native Hawaiians who raised concerns about the environmental impact and urbanization of the pristine oceanic surroundings. Despite the hurdles, construction finally began in 1989 after Congress exempted the project from environmental laws. The highway was ultimately inaugurated in 1997, almost 37 years after its initial proposal. Interstate H3 is often hailed as an engineering marvel due to the challenging terrain it traverses and the advanced construction technologies employed. Furthermore, a significant portion of native Hawaiians refuses to use it, considering it cursed due to the destruction of culturally significant sites during construction. In sum, while Interstate H3 stands as a marvel in the world of megaprojects, it remains divisive and, to some, largely useless. However, it's not entirely abandoned, offering a unique case study in balancing infrastructure development with cultural and environmental preservation. Notably, the highway predominantly runs over viaducts to preserve the delicate local environment beneath it. However, decades of budget overruns and the adoption of newer, more costly technologies meant that its final construction cost of $1.3 billion ballooned to an astonishing $50 million per kilometer, making it the most expensive highway per kilometer in the world. But here's the twist, despite its enormous budget and impressive engineering, critics argue that it's essentially a road to nowhere. The defense considerations that birthed the project in the 1960s are no longer relevant, and the highway lacks a direct route to downtown Honolulu. Like the next project on our list. Number 4. Ciudad Real Central Airport, Spain. Our journey then takes us to Spain and the curious case of Ciudad Real Central Airport. Spain, a prime travel destination in Europe, hatched the idea of this airport with grand ambitions in mind. It was envisioned as the go-to destination for holiday travelers within Spain and international visitors alike, offering a much-needed alternative to Madrid's heavily congested main airport. This new airport came with impressive credentials, boasting one of the top five longest runways in Europe and the potential to handle two million passengers annually. While this figure pales in comparison to Madrid's 70 million passenger capacity, expansion plans were already underway to boost the capacity to 10 million passengers annually. Thus, when it officially opened its doors in 2009 at a cost of $1.3 billion, it appeared to justify the considerable investment. However, the tale of Ciudad Real Central Airport quickly turned sour. Its remote location, a staggering 200 kilometers from Madrid, deterred passengers who were reluctant to embark on lengthy journeys to reach it. The lack of interest from major airlines meant that within its first year of operation, the newly minted airport was reduced to serving only one small-time airline, unable to attract a substantial passenger base. By 2012, the airport had amassed a crippling debt of $350 million, inevitably leading to bankruptcy. Unsurprisingly, it went up for auction in 2013, but multiple attempts to sell it fell flat, including a laughable offer of just $12,000. It wasn't until 2019 that the airport found new owners. Notably, during the coronavirus pandemic, Ciudad Real Central Airport discovered an unlikely lifeline. With the dim prospects of a return to normal flight operations and the aviation industry facing a severe slump, the airport pivoted to become a hub for grounded planes. Thanks to its dry climate, 
lengthy runway, and ample space, the airport was ideal for storing aircraft. By August 2020, it housed a staggering 65 airplanes, with ongoing expansions aiming to accommodate over 300 aircraft. This shift provided the airport with a much-needed business opportunity. In the grand scheme of things, Ciudad Real Central Airport now caters to a very different clientele than initially envisioned, making it effectively useless for passengers around the world. Number 3. Naypyidaw, Myanmar Our next stop takes us to Myanmar and the enigmatic city of Naypyidaw, a capital built from scratch in the early 2000s. Myanmar's leadership embarked on this ambitious endeavor to address the infrastructural limitations and overpopulation challenges faced by the former capital, Yangon. Built in secrecy, Naypyidaw was unveiled to the public in 2005, revealing a city replete with modern amenities, a 20-lane highway, over 100 luxurious hotels, golf courses, museums, and even a 99-meter-tall replica of a landmark originally situated in Yangon. The city, which means the king's residence in Burmese, was designed to accommodate a burgeoning population and was infused with futuristic aspirations. However, despite its impressive infrastructure and grandeur, Naypyidaw remains a largely deserted place. Its towering 20-lane highway, a symbol of modernity and ambition, lies practically empty, devoid of the bustling traffic one would expect in a capital city. The city's airport, designed to handle 3.5 million passengers annually, sees only a handful of travelers even on its busiest days. Shopping malls, hotels, and public spaces stand eerily vacant, creating an almost surreal atmosphere. The city's failure to attract a substantial population is rooted in several challenges. The lack of comprehensive healthcare facilities, high-quality educational institutions, and promising economic opportunities deters many from making Naypyidaw their permanent home. Consequently, it paints a haunting picture, often referred to as a ghost town. Despite its current state, Naypyidaw was conceptualized as a city of the future, leaving room for potential redemption. With Myanmar's population steadily growing, there's a chance that Naypyidaw might one day realize its intended purpose. For now, however, it remains a perplexing, empty capital, its vast infrastructure standing as a testament to ambition unfulfilled. Number 2. Forest City, Malaysia Our journey now takes us to Malaysia, where the ambitious Forest City project was conceived as a green, futuristic smart city. Nestled on reclaimed land across four artificial islands, Forest City aimed to capitalize on its proximity to the thriving city-state of Singapore. The project was designed with innovation in mind, featuring green rooftops, vertical gardens, and a multi-layered urban design integrating parks, sports facilities, and transportation hubs. Attracting investments primarily from China, Forest City initially garnered immense interest, especially among wealthy Chinese investors seeking alternatives to the skyrocketing property prices in their homeland. The project aimed to create a sustainable, eco-friendly urban paradise, with renewable energy sources and a vision for a greener future. However, Forest City faced substantial hurdles. The influx of Chinese investors led to a cultural clash, with the city seemingly tailored exclusively for a Chinese audience. Street signs appeared in Mandarin, and educational institutions offered Mandarin courses, alienating the local population. Political issues further complicated the project's trajectory. After a change in leadership, Malaysia imposed restrictions on foreigners owning property in Forest City, leading to an exodus of investors. Additionally, the COVID-19 pandemic and subsequent travel bans further stalled progress, leaving the city nearly deserted. Despite its initial promise, Forest City now stands as a testament to overreach. Its futuristic vision and eco-friendly design remain overshadowed by economic and political challenges, rendering it largely useless for the population it was meant to serve. Number 1. Yucca Mountain Nuclear Waste Repository, U.S. Our final destination brings us to the United States and the ambitious yet ill-fated Yucca Mountain Nuclear Waste Repository project. Conceived in the 1980s, this project aimed to address a critical global issue, the safe disposal of nuclear waste. With nuclear energy being a significant part of the world's power generation, the challenge of handling and storing radioactive waste had become paramount. 
In 1987, Yucca Mountain in Nevada was identified as the optimal site for a deep geological repository. Situated away from densely populated areas and with geological characteristics conducive to long-term storage, it seemed an ideal solution. However, Nevada's residents vehemently opposed the project, fearing the potential contamination of their water supply and considering the repository a dangerous burden. Despite opposition, the project moved forward and gained approval in 2002. Construction commenced, but political tensions, legal battles, and public resistance continued to mount. In 2010, the Obama administration halted funding for the project, deeming it unworkable. Although a federal court later ordered its resumption, progress has been negligible since. Most recently, the Biden administration confirmed that Yucca Mountain is no longer part of the country's nuclear waste disposal plans. After four decades of planning, legal battles, and an expenditure of over $17 billion, Yucca Mountain remains unused, making it a symbol of colossal financial and political investment resulting in a megaproject that never came to fruition. In the grand tapestry of megaprojects, these examples offer a stark reminder of the complexities and challenges inherent in transforming grand visions into tangible realities. From environmental concerns to political opposition and economic hurdles, these projects underscore the importance of comprehensive planning, local engagement, and adaptability. As we reflect on these colossal endeavors, we're left to ponder the future of such ambitious undertakings. Will they remain stagnant monuments to human ambition, or might they find redemption in unforeseen ways? The story of these megaprojects serves as a cautionary tale, urging us to reevaluate our approach to such endeavors and consider the broader implications of our grand aspirations. We're curious to hear your thoughts. Do you believe any of these projects could still find purpose, or are they destined to remain monuments to human ambition? Share your perspectives in the comments below. And until our next adventure, take care and stay curious.